What's up YouTube? I'm going to film the replacement of my FJ60's head gasket. I got a new one from Cruiser Core because after I shaved the head 70 thou, installed an OEM one, um, it just hadn't acted right. At first, it pressurized the overflow and geysered out of the rad cap from just cranking. Hmm. Coolant system appears to be pressurized. You think? <laughs> I retorqued the head bolts and it held a little better, but then at RPM it would pressurize the overflow. So I retorqued with washers under the head bolts and that fixed it a little bit, but then after a Houston trip, you know, uh, about two hours at 65 miles an hour round trip, it started pressurizing again at idle. So it's going to go with a new head gasket, copper coat it, and uh, run washers under all the head bolts and torque them all down quite a bit and see if that fixes it. So also inspect the block and whatnot while that is out. And those are about the only tricks I'm going to do that would be special. So now I'll get to replacement. First thing you're going to want to do is drain the coolant. So there's a nifty drain on the side of the block. There's a pet cock on the radiator. There's also a drain on the side of the block. It's just 14 millimeters. Next, you're gonna wanna just take all this stuff off. So I'll probably set up a time lapse for this starting now. I got the head off. There's the head gasket. Now I'm just going to scrape this thing clean, clean it with brake clean and WD 40. I mean, brake clean and a uh, shop rag. And clean the block the same way. Make sure there are no glaring issues and put it back together with a fresh head gasket covered in copper coat.
All right, it's 10.30 at night. My GoPro is almost out of battery. Here's where I am right now. Um, clean the deck, clean the head surface, and put the uh, copper-coated head gasket on. I bored out my head alignment dowel hole a little more. I think that's actually my initial problem. And then I torqued the head down in three stages. Oh, I also put some washers under the head bolts because I had 70 thou shaved off. But uh, I torqued the head bolts in the proper sequence in three steps, 20, 50, and 90 foot-pounds. So we'll see if that works. Well, I just have to button it up. I'm also going to go ahead and throw in a uh, stainless plate right here. I forget who I bought it from, but that's so that there's less of a chance of my intake cracking in the future. Just trying to bulletproof th this thing as much as possible, you know while I can, where I can, so yeah, part two will be filmed tomorrow.